Hello. Hello, warm and fuzzy entrepreneurs. I'm going to take these off because they're reflecting so much. I hope you are having a fabulous week. And this is your official reminder to finish eating, not finish eating, but to stop what you're doing and take a break and eat your lunch. That's what I meant to say. So I am mega ADD and I always forget to have lunch until it's like 1 or 1.30 or 2 or 3 and that's basically dinner time and I still haven't eaten lunch because I just get so focused on what I'm doing. You know what I mean? All right. So this week, we are going to talk about the importance of networking online and in person, which is super exciting, right? Like we're here in an online Facebook group, right? Like networking. And I hope some of you, if you're able to, are doing some networking in person. We're going to talk more about that with the one and only Amanda Marie, who is a chain of all trades. She is a creative, an artist, a content creator, a networking queen, a friend maker. Um, she's one of those people that you can always count on to connect you with people that you'll be able to bond and, and serve. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on Amanda Marie. Here we go. Um, if you are here that, you've had a good week. Uh, Amanda's coming on. So she's joining. So we'll give her a second. Everyone else, I hope you'll introduce yourself in the comments till, um, so that we can say hi to you. Hi! All right. Hi. That was such a sweet little intro that you. Oh my gosh. It, it was kind of funny because I was like, I'll intro you. And I'm sure you sent me your bio and then I didn't read it. And also, like, when I think of you, if you don't know, Amanda and I are wonderful, wonderful friends. And so then it was like all of the things that I was thinking about you were like friend things. And not necessarily professional things. So I'm gonna let you tell us all today what what is it that you do exactly. I just want to say, as I get like talking about what I'm talking about what the whole topic is in general, because you're sitting here thinking about ways to describe and things are coming to mind, and you are one of like my closest friends, with besties, and that relationship started from networking. No, I know. I don't even remember. I guess we probably met in Boston Business Women or like one of those groups, but I don't remember which one. Um, honestly, yeah, I don't remember which one either because we we're both in so many of them. All I know is that you truly completed my entire life because we were at a event in. We were at an event that I was hosting in Salem, and we walked in. And I had seen her on social media. We've talked on social media yet. You don't know how much people actually know you when you talk on social media. You don't know if they're gonna remember you in person and stuff. Not only did she remember me, but she actually called me out by my business name, which made me so proud. She looked at me and goes, "Hey." You're wicked smart. <laughs> You're wicked smart, Lomis. And I was like, Yeah, that's me. And You're it like, well, yes, I am wicked smart. It goes to show you that power of, you know, creating an online presence, but then like how that can correlate into that in person presence as well. They all tie together. We'll we'll get into that. I guess I'll tell you because you did ask me a question that I totally disregarded. And it's <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm just so excited to talk about networking that it's hard for me to like get into, you know, what do well, I Well it is what you do. It is what I do. So basically what I do is as Andy mentioned, a lot of things. So I'm an intuitive healer. I, I use um Reiki energy healing as my number one form of um healing in my practice. And I care very much about personal growth but I also care a lot about business growth. So I take that kind of um, healing presence that I have and I take like all of those, like like that, that need for growth and nurturement and connection and you know, the idea of building community. And I take that from, I took that to a whole new level because I decided I didn't want to just focus 
on personal growth. I also wanted to kind of delve into my love for business growth as well. I've been an entrepreneur since, you know, since I was able to deliver drinks to my parents while they were on hall my cousins and friends on holidays and it kept me like change in my little red solo cup like I have always been looking for ventures uh in ways to you know build business build community ever since I was young and I have found that the number one way to do that was networking I just freaking love networking I was actually working for a company that um I was working for someone else who would have me network on their behalf so I was introduced at a little bit of a younger age to the networking and I was like, this is so cool. I was blown away by the way, like we would all professionally get together and we were like enhancing our missions and growing our businesses while laughing and creating friendships and having fun. Like that blew my mind. Like it truly did. And I, I, from the beginning, I was just like absolutely upset with that. And at this time I was working for someone else I was in school I was actually working for a life coach um I was in school trying to finish up with my business and media degree so I'm over here just doing like a bunch of different stuff and then I got assigned a project actually to create like a blog so Witch Not Wellness was born at Salem State University as Witch Wellness as a group project I, I rebranded it so basically what I did is I, I decided to take a little bit of all my life loves and credentials. So I have the Reiki energy healing and the intuitive healing in general. I do work one-on-one -on -one with clients and in groups, I do events and retreats. But then on the other end, I do um, creative events and unique events for a business networking virtually and in person, retreats, workshops, whatever it may be. I love to collaborate. So if you're in this business or creative world in any way, like, please talk to me. <laughs> Let's chat. That's... And that's pretty much you are like definitely the queen of collaboration, I would say. Like, I love that. About I, don't, I will gladly wear that crown if you want to call me that, but I would put you right up there with me. We could like co queen. I do like that. Co queen. Yeah. I'm already co I'm trying to collaborate on being a queen. I know. You're like, I think I just came up with a new course called Co Queens, and let's do it Listen. together. It. What's uh, the point? It's probably way more fun to be a queen with your friends than to be a queen alone. So, I agree. I agree. Um, Okay, wait, you said something that I think will really set our talk up today. So you said you had a, jo a gig where you were networking on the behalf of somebody else. That was in person? It, it was in person. Oh my gosh. So to me, that feels like the um, in real life version of being like a social media manager. <laughs> it, it is. Right? I, you know, I have no idea. <laughs> But my, like my job title was like client liaison, media yeah. manager. Like it was, so I did, what did you do? Like every, how did you, how did you do that? Was that like you were going to events and talking about your client and passing out cards or like, what, what was that like? Well, so, okay. With this, so for the woman I worked for, I did like a variety of different things, whether it was event planning. Uh, I actually, it was all the stuff I do did for her right, video. For yourself. But this, I was already, <laughs> I was more of a personal contractor. Yeah, yeah. Per, um, totally. So she, she would send me to the events on behalf of her um, to kind of talk about her show, like videography, like her one-on-one um, -on -one sessions, retreats, and things that I was planning. So I knew a lot about. So I was able to like speak on them thoroughly. So I would just kind of go and say, I work for this person and we have this going on. And if you'd like any more information, I actually had my own card so they could reach out to me, but it was like her brand. Right. On the and, and I would just like set it up from there. I am going to also very quickly follow it up with, be careful with that. I don't love that method. I think it takes away from the whole point of what networking is actually meant to be. Oh, being like, this is here I am and what I do and here's my card and thank you, shake your hand with one of the next person situation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And like, well, and I mean, not creating a personal relationship with you right. in that. So what I, right. I think is it's okay to go on behalf of your business on behalf of another boss. Oh, you don't have course, to work with the network. But, but I think the key rule is to still establish a personal relationship. Don't just talk about your business. That's more of the back end whole part of that. There's actually no need to come to Hi, Amanda, I do Reiki Energy. I can help heal you. I can uh, come to my networking event, come to my retreat. Come to they literally missed all of that. Whereas you come in and you start an authentic conversation and you get to know each other, the rest of it just will flow in naturally as it is. 
Yeah. So what do you say to people when they're like, I'm like, cause I low key, I, no one believes me in these spaces because I like showing up online and I don't feel like it, but a million percent, I am an introvert. Oh, me too. And when you yeah. throw me in person, like, I'm like, Ooh. so what do you say to people who are like interested in going to a networking event, but like are really scared they're going to just end up being a wallflower? Well, you got to find the right networking events that are for you. Like, if you know that you don't really want, like, for example, if you're someone who feels like you're more of an introvert, like you don't really want to dive into a huge crowd, don't go to one of those open events in Boston, like at a bar, those after work hour, happy hours, where it's right. like literally 80 of you and everyone starts clicking together and you don't know what group to find yourself in. Instead, go to one of those events that's like, a seated table with like eight to 10 people, or maybe, you know, like, like there's so many different kinds. <laughs> I'm actually trying not to like, like I, I didn't want to like over promote about the things I do because I didn't want to like reference. I oh, will get to that, but, but you can totally say that that's like, what you do. Exactly. So find themed events that are yeah. smart is what I'm getting at. Right, right, right. Stuff that matches your niche, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because there's so many of them like there's so many of them i mean right you could be bowling in network you can oh my gosh you don't have to be it's networking doesn't have to be like this strict like professional i mean you there's a way to be professional and still be yourself it doesn't have to be right. that, that version of professional that society has taught us is like what professional is where you kind of have to go in and be a stickler and sit down and like only talk about what you think people want to hear like go in and be you and if you are afraid to kind of, not afraid if you're, I don't want to use the word afraid, but I mean, if you are afraid, that's okay too. No, like a lot yeah. of, like I low key am like, I get scared. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll just say it. And that's yeah. okay. And if you're feeling that way, if you're feeling nervous or afraid, really just make yeah. sure you're being true to yourself and being authentic to who you are and what your brand is by sticking to the stuff that like, that resonates yeah. really for events. Yeah. You gotta be, be yeah. and maybe, maybe, start with the virtual networking event to start meeting people in those groups so like if you want to join in on like the speed networkings i know if you um i'm not the only one who hosts virtual networkings boston business woman uh, with them you can join I, I don't know if you do it monthly or if it's every few it might be bi-monthly but um i know that you can look into different groups and there's always like virtual mastermind co-working and networking opportunities and those are honestly like the key way to dip your feet in like andy and i said we technically met online it wasn't even in a, um, all of my like dearest and best friends that i've made like in boston not all of them but like most of them i met like the way that we met like we connected online and it wasn't like this like it wasn't like we met in a video event like it was just we happened to be hanging out in the same group and like commenting on the same stuff and like I think that's why it's so important, like kind of like what you were saying about you don't have to go like show up to these in-person networking events like in your suit with like your hair and a bun and like have your fancy moo card, like unless that's who and you if, are. If that is, right? that's great. Just yeah, don't yeah. Like to pretend to be something you're not. Right, but like even online, like because you are just being your like amazing, energetic, like fun, funky, playful self, and I was like, huh, that girl's cool. Like that's like my vibe too. You know, like it wasn't like um, it wasn't like you posted something and you were like, if you want to be friends, like you gotta connect, which people do do that all which the time now. But I don't, good. I think that's kind of new. But like, I don't know, I just like saw your stuff and I was like, oh, she seems nice. Like, that's cool. And then we connected like that way. I felt and I think that it's the same way, on, like in person, like you, if you show up as yourself, like that you're confident, like in yourself and who you are, then like the people, your people are going to find you, right? Well, and that's also just like kind of to go a little bit deeper of getting over that fear, how to start simple. Like maybe even get on a screen like this in a, in a virtual meeting, it's still scary. And like, it's yeah. still, still aren't ready to bring yourself into that. Like Andy said, bringing yourself virtually, just being like, just like creating your presence virtually, like mm. online and allowing yourself to authentically connect with people. You know what? 
not all networking events have to have started as that. The events that people are hosting uh, with these people who have been your online cheerleaders, supporting you virtually. It just doesn't that present like a book club and you yeah. have someone else's a yoga class or um you know i'm trying to like broad spectrum like I can't yeah yeah like think creatively about what networking in person actually means yeah. it doesn't mean like you have to show up in an event that's like this is a networking event it like networking could literally just be like you stop and ask your barista some questions about what she does like enjoy doing when she's not making coffee right like that's still networking which also leads me to like the next thing that I wanted to talk about with you is like <laughs> I don't know how to like bring this up the way I want to bring it up sounds so rude but I'm gonna do it anyway like how toxic is it <laughs> when like we get in this mindset of like oh I have to network so that my business can grow because if I'm only networking like I have to network for my business and like or my business is gonna fail like that's that's like legit toxic right yeah it's really bad well that's I mean you, I don't know if you want me to go down this rabbit hole society <laughs> okay. and all of these things that like we have created like all of these ideals that we've created that we believe we have to follow in our business should mostly be thrown away anyway actually not just mm -hmm in our personal lives we put so much pressure on ourselves to do certain things at certain times in certain ways because we feel like that's how it has to be done and it's the only way but the only real way to do anything is by doing it in a way that works best for you that resonates yeah. that's the only real way like ever that's yeah. why i refuse even if i'm like a master at something and like something i'm a master like so i'm a master teacher for reiki so i teach right. reiki I'm a yoga right. teacher, so I teach yoga. Manifestation, I teach. Things that I don't teach that I'm not supposed, like that I'm not trained to teach, I will not even try to tell you how to do because I do it my way and in a weird way. My method is to just start and finish and whatever happens in between is how it gets done. So unless yeah. you have to you how to do, I won't even bother trying to explain because it probably won't make sense, you know? It's just your process. Yeah, I love that. Um, that makes me think of like, this theme that keeps coming up right like the way you do it is the way you do it and like there's no such thing as perfect so like you know even like I just think about like even the things like like I'm trained to teach and there are like certain things that have to be done a certain way like even in the way I teach it is probably different than like the next person who teaches it and that's well, okay and that because perfect's not real it, that's right and that's why I always like to say, like, you know, I kind of like to emphasize if I am going to show you how to, if you ask me to show you how to do something, you know that I know how to do. I, you need to clearly know that it's, I'm showing you how I do it my way. And if you find a way that works better for you, you should do it your way. So I'll show you how I, I do it. And you can take whatever works for you from that and build your own. And the same goes for networking. You can take your own networking style. Like, do you like, you got to decide, like, do I like going out and like maybe grabbing a drink? Do I want to have tea? Do I want to like keep it casual? Do, do I want to be a part of a vendor fair? Do I want to be, do I want to be surrounded by a lot of people? I want to publicly get up on a stage in front of a crowd. Maybe I want to do that, but on a screen for a hundred different people. I mean, I go to a great online networking um, event on Mondays. I haven't been in a while, but I used to go a lot. Evolution Business um, Development. Evo Biz, it's there on Facebook, they're a great group to be a part of. Um, and I've been going there for a while. Sometimes those groups got really big as we started growing through the pandemic when mm -hmm. virtual networking was a thing. And you'd get on there and you'd give your pitch to like literally 45, 50 different people that you don't know. And right. the thing is, there are some people who didn't feel comfortable doing that. So they would join and say, I'm actually just here to listen. I don't want to, I don't really want to speak. And they'd still put their information in the chat and they ju made just as many connections because when you're in a setting where there's a bunch of people talking anyway, there's too much going on for people to remember if you even got up there and talked. So yep. what you do with this instance is you now try to set up those one-on-one -on -one connections, those little, maybe a chat just like this, where you get on a video chat, maybe you do meet for coffee and for whatever right, you right. for you. I love that. I was like, and the other thing is, I keep, so we both have ADD. <laughs> I'm clearly in a coffee shop <laughs> surrounded by a million people that are having lots of conversations with like the shh and the clinking. And so 
but I will say, like, one thing that keeps standing out, like, the word that it keeps, like, that keeps bringing back is, like, connection, right? Like, that's what, like, a net, like, if you think about what a net is that you, like, catch stuff with, like, it's just, like, all these little knots that are, like, connected, right? And, like, at the end of the day, like, it's just networking. It's just a fancy way of saying connect with people. I love people. Like, all these little ties. Oh, dang. You went there. You did no yeah. out of that. Yeah, like, that was a good one. It's very true. And then it, it, the whole net thing in general. Oh my god, I want to keep going deeper into this because it's <laughs> even like you scoop up a hole. You know what I mean? Like when you're trying to catch I see up. this reel in like this TikTok and Amanda's future of like her running around her backyard with a net, like trying to catch people. It's gonna be cute. Nope, don't. She's gonna post it in our group when she makes it. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel. But, now I feel committed. I actually appreciate this level of a, oh, this is actually a good point to die into. What Andy just did was she actually brought up something she knows that I like to do in my personal and my business life, which is great. And she just publicly held me accountable with all of you. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's a good I didn't mean to. That's okay, good. No, that's I didn't good. mean to. Though. The next but step like point. No. Good. Don't backtrack. Hold me accountable. Do not backtrack. Okay. Because and the that say is accountability. A good thing that comes from networking is finding people to help you be accountable. When you're an entrepreneur or a small business owner, or an artist, and you work alone, it's really easy to sit in the same. I've spent hours in one spot on one chair, rocking back and forth with my music on, I'm like just lost in another world because I, I don't, you know, sometimes you need someone else to say, have you made that video yet? Wait a bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, yeah, I mean, I just love how you read my mind. So I know um, we just like totally feed off each other. We we could just have this conversation in our heads, but we don't. We're being <laughs> hearing it all out. Well, yeah, and I think um, like even just yesterday, I had a um, oh I'll just say it, Roxy, um, Roxy the rocker, hey, Roxy. Um, shout out. Like she messaged me and she's like, "Hey, let's hold accountable. Like hold each other accountable to two things. I can't remember what the first one was. I'm sorry, but the second one was and like and like good pricing because we had had this long talk about what it means to like have good pricing and well, that's a whole nother chat for another time. But like it was just like that. Like Roxy and I met in a group and now we're like business friends and we can hold each other accountable and that's I'm important. I'm glad you use that word. I actually would love to also shout out Roxy that because Roxy and I also brought it to in person as well. And she's become a good friend. So, you know, love that. and I'm sure there's plenty of this group who met that way. Awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I think most people in this group, unless um, we share the same mother, shout out to Danny, like our people that I've met online. I love it. So, um, yeah. Okay. So I want to, we're going to start to wrap it up but I want to tell a story and then I want to hear like your inspired thoughts. Cause I know you've heard me tell the story, but maybe people have before, but I love okay. it. let's do this. So I used to be in this artist, like, like group, what is it? I don't know, like marketing for artists. Group, okay. And there was this guy, his name was Jim. He was a photographer in Texas and he like did these like, um, iconic Texas photos, like, you know, flag in the background with, like, a horse and the sunset or whatever, um, and he was doing really well, and so he said, like, he was giving this talk, and he said that a lot of people come in, and they're like, Jim, how are you doing so well? Like, the only people who buy my art are my friends. Like, no one buys my art but my friends, and I've heard so many small business owners say this, right? Like, no one buys my, like, candles but my friends or like no one books me for nail appointments but my friends or whatever but so this guy he said well then I think you just need to make more friends that was what he said and it was like dang I and then that's love that I, I'm going I'm like actually shaking right now out of excitement keep, keep going this is great like, and I, I, I think, like, some people could hear that the wrong way, like, oh, I'm gonna manipulatively make friends to, like, grow my business, which I don't think is what he's saying, and that's not what I'm saying either, but, like, if you grow your circle, and that means you're, like, serving other people, right, like, you're serving them, like, like, you're 
like helping them, how you can help them and they're helping you, then it's not just like your business that grows, right? Yes. And on top of it, though, what you just said, because I can, I can see how some people could hear the negative in that as well. And that's why I want to say that the most important thing just comes back to what we said from the beginning is the authenticity. It's all mm -hmm. about the intent behind it. If you are going into it like, ooh, let me make a bunch of fake friends so that network grows, then yeah, shame on you is horribly intentioned, manipulative, and not nice. Because people say, want to be your friend if you're tricking I'm like, not cool. But like, if you're going to like, make a bunch of friends and whatever comes out of, out of it comes out of it, there's no obligation. Let me tell you a quick little story about a direct, yeah, yeah. and this one's like a direct actual instance where this happened for me. I was at a networking dinner where I met a girl who became and she, a woman, I should say, not a girl, a woman, um, who is a friend of mine. And we supported each other virtually, like, for a couple months. We, you know, so, like, talked about our business here and there, the online tagging each other. She left a bunch of reviews about the um, networking dinner itself. <laughs> it was one of the small ones. So, like, she, she referenced it a lot. And so fast forward, like four months later, and this girl became my friend. She was my friend. We didn't work together. She did not work with me yet. Four months later, though, she, uh, uh, she sent someone else to me. I got a client who, when I came in and said, oh, like, I'm just curious. How did you, like, how did you hear about me? She said, oh, I was just looking for someone that practices Reiki, and my friend sent me to you. And I was like, like oh, my God. But I hadn't actually physically seen this person once. We only like directly, we met that one time at the networking event and we like virtually support each other. And she did send, she, I got a referral. And fast forward even further, she also then proceeded to work with me herself later down the line. And I got yep. two clients almost within a six month span of the first meeting. So that's why you have to remember it's all about the bigger picture, it's about creating these authentic connections that you like they they have to help you down the line because authentic authentic authenticity can't let you down so as long i as agree you have that i agree mind, right that intention yeah oh, this is so good i'm like so sad that this has to be a short chat today um yeah i think that's like such a great way to end it too like just at the end of the day showing up as your most authentic self is going to allow you to make the connections you like that will serve you and will serve the the greater good mm -hmm. right and it will repel those relationships that like probably aren't gonna work out you know yeah and then and my key takeaways to add on to that is, like oh, yeah. i already said but I, I have to say it again be intentional yep be authentic and be true to you and do things your way even if it's yep. something that has to be done a certain way still figure out the best way that works for you <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, with that, um, Amanda, can you let everybody know where they can connect with you, like where they can find you on the internet and like continue to have this conversation? Yeah. The, like, the best way to contact me would be, well, you could, well, thing is linked on my website, which is wicked because right. I spell it like I say. So wicked at wellness.vip pretty much you can get everything on there your best bet is to either email me message me directly on my contact form or to even social media message me. I'm not uh, being authentic and I'm being honest. my phone's been a little wonky so I'm not sure I could be missing things on the phone my phone number is open to the public I totally it, but I don't want to miss it. I want to connect with you so send me or even shoot me a message on Instagram. I can tell us stay wicked smart. With it. <laughs> of course, of course. Awesome. Well, we'll also share all those links um, in the comments, whether that's on Facebook <laughs> or on YouTube, wherever you're watching. Um, those links will all be below. Somewhere. You know what? I feel so. so silly. The biggest thing I want to say is like, let's just set up a networking call i can't believe that's not even what i just said like <laughs> want, like let's just set up like i literally offer exploratory like 30 minute like on my calendar like you can book 30 minutes and we can just talk too so network yep i love that okay i know i said we were done but i will just say 
if you are watching this and you are an entrepreneur, you need to like have that in your links, wherever you keep your links. If that's Calendly, if that's like your, what is it called? Oh, Linktree or your link page on your website. Like you need to have a networking chat available to the public. Like it doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes. Like I'm minus 15 minutes. And then if I want to or have time, like it goes longer, but set that up. And with that gem of wisdom, we are going to wrap it up and just say, have a great weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow for some online critiques if you want to be there. Uh, Amanda, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And I just got to say love and good vibes to everybody. Yes. yes, love and good vibes. We'll catch you later. Bye. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks so